Boys, what happened to Forge Horizon 5? That's what we're gonna find out today. Also, are there any solutions? By the way, I do love Forza and I still play it, but I've just noticed some comments like these. Uh, honestly, Forza fell off. Honestly, drifting in Forza is a joke. Forza is dead. And sadly, these go on and on. So what happened? First of all, boys, let's look at the stats, shall we? So this peak over here is when the game launched in November 2021. Very popular, as you can see. And if we look at that graph, it does seem like the game has fallen off rather quickly, am I right? So if the peak popularity was 100% over here, now it's about 8%. 7%? So that means roughly 7% of players only play this game nowadays. That is a pretty low number. Now, how do we know if this is a bad retention rate? For that, we need to compare this game to some other game. Let's start with Assetto Corsa, for example. So this is the same graph. Uh, it's an older game, so I chose the past 5 years over here. As you can see, the game has been pretty stable for a long time, and it's even growing in popularity. So how come we don't see this growth and stability in Forza Horizon 5 graph? My guess is, Assetto Corsa managed to do this because of modding support. You can't run out of content in Assetto Corsa. There's new car packs, new maps, other mods are being released daily. Forza Horizon 5 gets new content only when there is an update, usually just a few new content. And that is not enough. Now I'm gonna play the Devil's Advocate over here, okay? The real reason Forza Horizon 5 drops off so quickly is because the beginning hype was just so big compared to other games. Let me show you what I mean. Let's compare this graph to Carrex graph at the moment. Again, past five years for Carrex over here. Game started off strong, okay, but there was no big dip over here. That's because the volume of the people who knew about this game was very low. This only means one thing, boys. Growing the game is way easier when you start off with less exposure. It's just way, way more easier to grow. It's just simple logic. That aside, I still think Carrex as well as AC has been able to grow and maintain its viewers because of mods. Very important. And I personally think Assetto Corsa and Carrex have way better multiplayer than Forza. Just from my experience, okay? Forza multiplayer is a nightmare. The convoy system in Forza Horizon 5 has been absolutely horrible when I've tried to play with my friends. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had the same experience, just uh, the convoy getting cancelled all the time, uh, it's just just not working. And if, if you have a lot of players in the friend list, it's really difficult to find the players you want to invite to the convoy. I really like when games have a server list. Very easy, straightforward, right? But I guess that's a personal preference. Another thing, have you guys noticed every Forza Horizon release is very similar to the previous one? Like, please, disagree with me here, tell me I'm wrong, okay? But it feels like it's quite minor changes. Every time it's basically just a new map, to me, it feels like they release the same game over and over again, and then they expect a different result. I think that's also the definition of insanity, but uh, I'm guessing they're okay with the player retention rate. I guess it's profit, so they just go with it while reinvent the wheel, right? If it works. Although, I've seen a lot of comments like this. Forza Horizon 3 is better, says this dude. Uh, also, I've seen similar comments to uh, Forza Horizon 1 and 2. They get a lot of positive feedback as well, I've noticed. Not so much about Forza Horizon 4 for some reason. But I agree with the comment. I tried out Forza Horizon 3 as well, and for me, the map was just absolutely amazing. And I'll be honest, I don't see any graphics improvements in Forza Horizon 3 compared to Forza Horizon 5. If I didn't know about these games and someone put Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 5 side by side, I don't think I would be able to tell the difference, like which was the older game of these two. Honest, just honest opinion. So. When a new Forza game releases, ba people basically already know what's what to expect, right? It's basically the same game. There is no surprise or exploring the game mechanics. On the first day of playing, you explore the map and that's when the excitement already starts to fade, right? You've seen the map, you've tried a bunch of cars, did a couple of races, that's that. Now going back to Assetto Corsa for a second, there is so much to do in there. There's drag race, specific servers, realistic street racing servers with traffic, go-kart servers, drift servers, along with these F events and whatnot. I feel like in Forza, we're quite stuck with the content and it doesn't help that the story is pretty short as well let's be honest personally the story felt boring to me as well that being said Forza Horizon 5 has very good graphics and for me it's really satisfying just ripping through traffic after a rough day okay rough. but I wish there was more is it maybe the difficulty why people get tired of Forza I've seen people comment about the physics as well like this dude for example says 
Fun fact, Forza is the easiest game to drift on. Try something like a set of Corza. Oh. Well, this makes me think, is it maybe that Forza Horizon 5 is not challenging enough? Is it too easy? I don't know. This feels like a personal preference again. Not everyone wants a hardcore physics experience. Some people just want to chill and play casually, right? Uh, especially if you don't have a lot of free time to practice and whatnot. But what could be done so that the graph over here went up instead of just plummeting down and just staying there? What could be done? Potentially mod support guys just for a second i know i know imagine imagine forza announced they make the game moddable people would go crazy okay like <laughs> another thing i've noticed is people complaining about the track editor now the track editor is a lovely feature every game should have that but they're complaining about not being able to edit existing tracks i don't know if that is fixed or not but for a long period of time maybe even now you can't edit your existing tracks and i've heard it's overall like very limiting so maybe a better version of track editor with less restrictions and stuff i would personally also say a server list guys again imagine a bunch of random servers in forza you can name your server as well so people name the server for example car meets with uh, jdm cars okay then you already know a bunch of people are doing car meets with very specific car you can hop in there doesn't have to be jdm could be muscle cars as well or like you know chill cruise with exotic cars you know it's just uh Hop on the train there with your uh, Ferraris, Lambos, whatever. Sounds like a fun time with random people. Just an idea, okay? Honestly, I have no idea how to solve this issue personally. If you do, put it in the comments, okay? And boys, if you enjoyed me ranting about Forza, subscribe. Also, drop the like. And as always, stay sideways. Peace!